Hi everyone, I'll continue with working with a range function, but this time I'll show you how it's useful when you are working with a list. So I'm going to go ahead and create a list uh, of days and I'm going to give Monday and Tuesday and separate with commas and Wednesday. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how if I wanted to access each element and just print it out, I could create a loop. And here I'm saying this is a variable and it could be any name. I just like to make it related. So this is a list of days, uh, whereas this is just one day. You could call it whatever you want, but I, like I said, I like to make this related to my list. So in this particular case, I just want to print the day. So I'll print it out. So it's just printing Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm going to show you how you can print elements uh, within of a list using the, um, the range function. So you can use the range function, like we said in the previous video, to uh, generate a sequence of numbers. But um, um, and again, this variable can be any name and now in range. Um, so I want because this list always starts with indices zero. So I don't want to specify my starting parameter. I just want to say when this will end. So I've actually got three items in the list. So one, two, three. But when we are looping, um, we actually want it to to give us um, a zero and um, an index one and an index two. Okay, that's what we want. So how do we use the range function to make this exclude the third value? So I could use the length of this list, which is going to be um, using the len function. And I'd like the length of this. So if I actually, um, Okay, this won't make sense, but what I can do is I can um, put this in the variable and I can say um, days length is equal to this. And let's print this out. Uh, sorry, this out. Let me just uh, comment this out for now. And it's actually going to give me three. But what I want. Uh, you remember in the previous video when we spoke to, when we spoke about the range function, we said that this integer is the um, where it's going to stop generating a sequence, but it doesn't include the last value. So this is perfect in this particular case because we don't want it to include the third index, which will actually crash our program if we try to access an index that does not exist in our list. Right. So. Um, Let's just print this out. How do we print it? Um, when I learn how to spell. Now what I'll, what I'll do is I'll say using this list access this index. If you remember, we said the range is going to gen generate a range of numbers from zero to the length um, excluding this value. So I could just say day over here and this will print the value at this index, the value at this index and so on. Okay, so um, what I also want to do is print the day and just to show you how this is just an integer. So now what I've got is at index zero, it's printing Monday and at index um, one, it's printing Tuesday and at index two, it's printing Wednesday, which is what we want. Okay, so if I just remove that, um, that print statement of the day, the index, now I've pretty much got two ways of printing out the values of a list. One is using for day and days and the other one is using for using the range function. But what is the difference? Well, the difference is this is only used if you want to print the elements of the list. But I don't really I can't really access the list and update it because I actually need the index. If you need to change anything in your list, you actually need the index so you can refer to that value and change it. For example, I could have a condition if day is equal to uh, Monday, 
then I can print uh, yeah, so forgot the column. Then I can say print it's Monday. Well, we should be happy if it was Friday. Um, maybe else I'll print out the other days. Oh, can't type at all today. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So now it's saying it's Monday, but the other days it just printed out. But I can't really change the day of Monday, say I wanted to change this to Sunday, I can't because this loop is used to print the elements of the list, but I can't really um, change a value because I don't have the index. Whereas in this particular example, I can say if, if days, um, if that day, if this index is referring to say Monday, Should have copy pasted but yeah um, now because I know the index of this list I could change or update the list to a different value this is something I couldn't do here I could print out whatever I want to print but I can't make a change I can't update the list uh, if I don't have the index so this is where the range is really useful because I can use it to generate the length of the list um, to generate indices uh, up to the length of the list, not including the last value. Okay, so over here I'm changing it to Sunday. Now I'm going to print. So over here I'm able to change or update my list because I have access to each index of the list. And we got, we achieved that through the range function. So I hope this helps you. Um, which one would you need to use? It depends. If you're just using uh, a loop to print out to print out just the elements of the list, then you could use for day and days, um, or any. You can call this any variable, but like I said, always make it related. But if you need to update the list in any way, then use a range to generate a range, a sequence um, of size of the list, and you can refer to that index as you need so you can update your list. I hope this helps you and I'll see you in future videos.